this next session kicks off a deeper dive into all the remarkable things going on in Neurotech. We are privileged to welcome to our stage Justin Sanchez, Senior Technical Fellow at Battelle, for a rare look behind the scenes at the work they are doing to improve brain function. So thank you for the very kind introduction. It's a real pleasure to be here. And uh, I'm gonna share with you our grand vision. So when we're all really young, we aspire to what we might be when we grow up and get older. And you might ask the question, well, maybe I'll be a doctor or a lawyer or an athlete. Um, but you've probably never asked yourself the question, what do I wanna do with my brain in the future? And it's amazing that we don't ask that question. The brain is our most valuable possession. And it's the millions and millions and millions of neurons that are in your brain that give rise to all of the behaviors that help you to become what you ultimately want to be in the future. But there's one catch in all of this. From the dawn of time, our brains have been trapped inside of our bodies. Okay? And it can limit the potential of what our brain ultimately might do. So what I'm here to pose to you today is a very different question. And that question is, how do you want to connect your brain today? So think of the possibility of opening up the potential of your brain to not be stuck in your head anymore. And that aspect of connectivity is so important for helping us to realize our hopes and our dreams and what we may become. And that may play a huge role in age or ability or even injury. So let's think about that idea of connectivity. Let's say after you've had a spinal cord injury, your brain becomes disconnected from your body. What if we can rebuild that connection and help, help somebody to move again? Or what if you're an athlete or you're aspiring to be an elite athlete, you need a little bit of help in order to train a little bit more effectively or efficiently? Make a huge difference in connecting your brain in a very different way. Or what if you're getting a little bit older in life uh, you're an executive, you're in a meeting, you need a little bit of a boost. Maybe you can unlock the potential of your brain in a very different way in order to help you to do that. So what's the game changer in all of this? Again, sounds like an interesting idea. The game changer is neurotechnology. And for those of you who have never seen neurotechnology, never heard about it, let me explain. Neurotechnology is an emerging technology where you can place a miniature sensor either in or on the brain. You can record from hundreds to thousands of neurons in real time. You take that moment-to-moment -moment information, decode it with advanced artificial intelligence to determine what those signals actually mean, and then you send those, those uh, commands or signals out in order to produce a particular behavior. And while you may think that this is a technology of the future, it's very much a technology of today. So prior to my uh, joining Battelle, I was a former office director uh, at the Biological Technologies Office over at DARPA. And I'd like to share with you some of the foundations that we pioneered uh, in our work in neurotechnology. And speaking of pioneers, the people that I'm gonna show you in this video, again, they're the, the real uh, people that change the world here. These individuals are living with spinal cord injury. They all have these neural interfaces in their brain. And this is what they can do by just thinking about uh, performing an action and it's carried out through the neurotechnology. So here it goes. So this is 2012. Baby, I want to hold your hand. <laughs> so that's Tim. He's paralyzed. His girlfriend says, I want to hold your hand. He's controlling that robotic arm just by thinking about it. The highlight was 45 minutes ago. I uh, got to use a robotic arm for the first time. And uh, I got to reach out and touch somebody for the first time in seven years. All right, 2013. I can move it up and straight down, and left and right and diagonally, and I can do a fist bump if you'd like. <laughs> That's and amazing. I, there's not a lot I can do from this position in my life, physically, but now I'm doing so much. It, it overwhelms me. I'm so glad I did this. So that's Jan, she's really special. And she said, hey, I also want to control a, a virtual flight simulator just by thinking about it. And she's banking this aircraft, virtual aircraft, just by thinking about it. Now we ran this experiment in reverse. Nathan is paralyzed, can't feel. Middle, uh, index and middle. 
writing signals into his brain. He can say which fingers we're pressing on. Now, you can also do this with peripheral nervous system. Oh, my God. Okay? I <laughs> All right, 2015. And then lastly, we not only do this for movement and sensation, but also memory, so writing memories into the brain. This is recall 12 words with no stimulation. This person got through three of the 12, and we've all experienced this when it's hard to recall something. We do the old face palm, right? Really tough. Now with neurotechnology with stimulation into the brain, here's those 12 different words. No kidding. All of them. And that was a breakthrough moment for us. We knew we were writing the right signals back into the brain so that I truly had a positive effect. So again, technology of today and a technology of the future. You can see how those foundations are going to change the world. Again, I want to share with you one last pioneer in all of this. And this pioneer was one of the people at Battelle that really helped to change the world. And again, this, this talks all about connections. How do we reconnect our brain? And uh, for this person, his, his name is uh, Ian. He's also living with spinal cord injury, but he's very different than the other people that I share with you. He re really wanted to reconnect his brain to his body, his own arm. He wanted to reanimate his own arm in his hand. So uh, what the talented engineers at Battelle did was they developed a new technology, a sleeve technology that could go on his forearm that could stimulate his own muscles and reanimate his hands. So let me share with you his story uh, before we uh, dive into the details of how it all works. Okay, so here's Ian. I had just finished my freshman year of college. I was out in the ocean and I dove out and into a wave, something that I'd done many times before. I dove into a sandbar that I'd drifted in, which fractured my spine and damaged my spinal cord. And that left me as a C5 quadriplegic. I kept asking the doctors, what can I look forward to in the future? One of my doctors said, hey, we want to try this muscle stimulation device. It really sounds like it's something out of a science fiction novel, reconnecting my mind to my body. OK, so huge challenge. But again, the talented engineers at Battelle brought it all together, the brain interface, the decoding algorithm, the sleeve technology that can reanimate his muscle. So you might be asking, how does this make a difference uh, in Ian's life? Well, you know, first step is just get movement going back to the hand. So in this video here, you can see he can open and close his hand. Right? Again, it's huge for somebody who's paralyzed. Again, kind of locked into a particular state, neurotechnology can make all the difference in the world. What about doing something like stirring your coffee in the morning? We all take this for granted. For a person like Ian, he can't do it. He needs something else. So again, the engineers uh, set up the initial conditions in order to you know, think about uh, controlling his hand in that way, and, and the system's able to do that. And again, it's not all about just the basics in everyday life. You've got to have a little bit of fun, too. So they also reanimated um, Ian's hand so that he could play Guitar Hero. So again, he's playing Guitar Hero in real time uh, just using that direct brain interface. Okay, so it's remarkable, it's life-changing, it's gonna change the world for the, the future for, for a lot of other people. So again, at every step along the way here, we learned a lot. So at Battelle, we're really trying to, to push these into real products, and uh, we've learned that there's a few elements that make these uh, products really functional. You have to be able to analyze and decode those signals in real time, we can do that, we have technology to do it. The way that you connect and how you connect should make a difference in that person's life. You need to perform actions and behaviors that ultimately are valuable and, and provide a, a meaningful function. And lastly, and again, this one's very important, it must also adapt. Remember, the brain is the ultimate adaptable kind of system. We have advanced AI that enables our systems to also adapt with the user. So while we've laid the foundations of all of this and we're pioneering this for the future, you might ask the question, well, what's over the horizon? What are the new products that might be coming out? Well, Technologies like this, you can think of uh, advanced security, right? Maybe the unique 
Patterns of neural activity could be used as a security uh, code or maybe more immersive kinds of gaming. Right? Imagine you have a gaming experience with a neural interface or a sleeve kind of inter interface, maybe even brain-controlled vehicles. There's a lot of um, you know, uh, things here at CES that is looking at uh, autonomous vehicles, but maybe a brain interface with that would change human-machine teaming. And lastly, sports and athletics. And this is an area that we really think is, is going to, uh, to make a difference. So while everything that I've shown you up to this point might feel kind of like in a medical domain and out of your reach, in the area of sports and athletics, uh, there is something that we think you can uh, grasp today. So we'd like to do something really unique here. We're gonna do a demo for you, a live demo. And it's something that we call muscle memories, okay? It's a new way to learn from the pros. All right, so some of you in here might aspire to be a golf pro and you know how hard it is to actually do that. And there's one aspect of the sleeve that I did not tell you about up to this point. It can not only stimulate muscles, but it can record from muscles. So imagine putting the sleeve on a golf pro, recording their muscles so that they have that kind of perfect swing. And if we could record those moment to moment activities and store them in a database, we could potentially do the following, okay? perhaps we can write in those muscle activities into an amateur's arm to help them have a more pro-like swing. So you might see, say that this sounds impossible, but we're gonna do a demo live for you here today to show you how it all works. So if the team could kind of come up, um, and as the team is, is coming up here, we also have a volunteer from the audience. So um, I, I believe your name is Patricia, right? So Patricia's gonna help us out with this. So give Patricia a round of applause, okay? And um, what I also didn't tell you is that I am wearing one of the sleeves here today, okay? So uh, let me show you what that looks like while we're all getting set up. All right, so this is the sleeve system, okay? This is what it looks like. And as you can imagine, I've, I've been wearing this all day here. I had it under my suit. And there's 160 both sensors and stimulators in that sleeve. It conforms to my arm, it's really comfortable. Um, and again, it can look at all of the muscle and nerve activity in that sleeve. Again, Battelle designed, and the engineers really made this thing uh, functional. It's an early, uh, early phase design uh, from, from the team here. And again, you just get it plugged into this device, okay? And, um, and, and let me just tell you a little bit more about the demo that we're gonna be doing, okay? So again, for, for those of you who are not golf pros, um, uh, the angle between the club face and the ball, right, how square it is makes a huge difference in how you actually hit the ball, okay? And if it's, if it's not square, you can either cause the, the ball to slice or to hook. So as you're learning to play golf, okay, um, your coach might, uh, you know, teach you to try to rotate your hands uh, in certain ways in order to prevent those slices and hooks. And what we've actually programmed here, what Patricia is going to do, now don't hit the button yet, okay? <laughs> Back yeah. A bit so that the camera can pick this up. Yeah. Okay. Again, let, let me just click one more part of the slide. Anytime, anywhere, we can have some pre programmed patterns, right? The pro patterns, and they can be sent directly into my muscles, okay? And we've already pre programmed some of these things into uh, the tablet that's right over there. Again, don't, don't press yet. <laughs> um, and, and we can make these uh, kind of online corrections as we go, all right? Now, I can't see what Patricia is, um, is programming into my muscles and my nervous system. So again, I, you'll just see the response in my muscles uh, as she does this. So uh, are you guys ready? So I'm gonna kind of get in position here and she's gonna press a button. All right, and that caused my hand to kind of rotate in that direction, okay? She can pick another one. You can try pressing it. You see it rotates back. Right, again, I'm, I'm not doing this. It's being written directly into my muscles. You can try one more if you want to do it. Okay. There's another one. You want to do one more? <laughs> there it goes. And rotates that way. So again, imagine doing this. I mean, we're like a few feet away from each other. This could potentially be done through the internet. It could be done halfway across the globe. It changes the way that we connect. Right, it's all about connections. This is technology that can do that for us, all right? So uh, one last piece of the puzzle. Those are online corrections that you can make as you're learning how to do, let's say, a pro swing. Let us take it one more step, okay? So the team set up a few golf balls. We can come up with patterns that can do a whole swing, 
all right? And again, um, for the golf pros out there, you know, we know that a putt is not necessarily wrist uh, um, kind of motion here, but just for demo, you can see how we can do kind of the full swing uh, end to end. So let me get into position here, and uh, Patricia's gonna press the button, and, and hopefully uh, it'll all come together. All right? Again, that was all just from the stimulation alone. I'm, I'm not doing anything, and you can try it again if you wanna go. All right. So again, shows you how neurotechnology could potentially change the world. So uh, everybody, please give Patricia a big round of applause for helping us out there, okay? So uh, I just have one more slide for you. So we started this whole conversation today uh, about your aspirations for the future, what you wanna do. And I said, you know, thinking about how you might use your brain, how you might connect your brain could change the world. So I pose one final question for all of you. How will you connect your brain in the future? And I would say the answer to that question ultimately is in your hands. It's what you decide how uh, you wanna use your brain to change the world. So thank you so much. <laughs>